guilt, all this grief and shame, all this night I won't let go until I
Good morning and welcome to Prayer and Devotion on this Wednesday. Today is Wednesday, October 18th, starting off today with a little Lydia Munoz singing I Won't Let Go from Mark Miller uh, and the New Haven Collective uh, album, uh, one of my favorites. So good, good way to start this morning. We're going to be talking about that song in a little bit, but uh, today's devotion is entitled You Are Not Alone. You Are Not Alone. And our, our uh, scripture reading this morning comes from Joshua, the first chapter, verse 9, Joshua 9, 1, 9. Um, so it is good to gather with all you. Let me say good morning to you. Good morning, Donna and Barbara. It's good to have both of you here this morning, praying for both of you. And Celia and Janet, welcome, holding you both in prayer. Good morning, Genevieve. And good morning, Priscilla. I'm glad you're both here praying for you today. And Genevieve will be praying for the family friends. I, when I get down there, I'll, I'll, I'll list their names as well. Good morning, uh, Labake and Blanca. I'm glad you're both here praying for you today. And good morning, Deb. And Jerry, I'm glad you're here praying for you. Good morning, Lynetta and Michelle. Welcome. Praying for both of you today. And Vinette and Ingrid, it's good to have you both here praying for you today. Good morning, Susan and Susan. <laughs> you guys always end up right next to each other. Uh, it's good to have both of you here this morning praying for you. Um, both. Good morning, Marilyn and another Sue. It's good to have you both here praying for you. And good morning, uh, Betty. I'm glad you're with us praying for you. And Marilyn, always love that you share about your, your blue bracelet, which says you are not alone. And we're praying today, Genevieve, for Tyrone and Janelle, who are both hospitalized. I also ask that you keep Jesse in prayer. Uh, and I'm going to be lifting up my dad's going for surgery tomorrow. So if you'll pray for him as well. Um, it's good to gather with all of you today. Um, today's devotion comes from Joshua 1.9. So I'm going to invite you to open up your Bibles um, and turn to Joshua chapter 1 verse 9. As you're doing that, my name is Cindy Stauffer. I'm blessed to serve as the pastor at the United Methodist Church at New Brunswick. And uh, I am always glad to be able to gather with you each morning as we root ourselves in God's word and, and gather to pray with and for one another. So welcome. I'm glad you're here today. So let's take a look at Joshua 1.9. Uh, this passage, I was actually just telling uh, my ad, uh, telling Lucia the other day about a time when I... Um, I had our youth paint the youth room back in my last church, which was a bit of a nightmare. But on the wall of the youth room was this scripture, which I think is a great scripture. Um, so Joshua 1.9 tells us, I hereby command you, be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened or dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. One more time. I hereby command you be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened or dismayed for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Today's devotion is entitled, You Are Not Alone. You Are Not Alone. And it comes from Joyce Meyer's Strength for Each Day. She writes, The Lord wants to remind you today that you are never alone. At times you may feel lonely or as if no one cares about you, but that is not true. God is never more than one thought away or one deep breath. You can be instantly in God's presence by simply remembering and believing God's promise to be with you wherever you go. Take time to develop the habit of simply reminding yourself that God is with you in all that you do. The more you think about this, the more of a re reality it will become to you. God is omnipresent. 
God is everywhere all the time and surely God is with each of us. You are not alone, not now, not ever. God is not only with you, but God loves you unconditionally and God will guide you throughout your life. Um, this morning I started off with uh, I Won't Let Go, which comes from uh, a musical that Mark and my friend Lori wrote many years ago called Jacob and the, the World, Heavenly World Wrestling Foundation. I'm not, I'm, I don't remember the exact title, but anyway, it was the story of Jacob and Esau. And uh, this song was written about where that the part in scripture where Jacob struggles or wrestles with God, with an angel. And um, what I love about the song is uh, the words, I won't let go. Because I think there are times that we feel as if we are clinging, you know, we're walking through something. We just, we have no idea, or we've done something, you know, in the case of Jacob, that that has harmed ourselves or harmed someone we love, or or have gone against God's will, right? We've we've gone a direction, and we feel like if we don't, that we're clinging to God because we need forgiveness, or we need to just know that we're not alone, right? And um, in the song. Uh, Mark, uh, well, Lori wrote the lyrics. Uh, they flip it at the end and you hear the words, I, you are my child and I won't let go. You are my child and I won't let go. Sometimes, friends, it feels as if we are clinging, clinging to something, right? Clinging to God, clinging. Um, you know, sometimes we think of it as clinging to the cross, whatever we're clinging to just because we need hope. We need to know that it's gonna be okay, that what we're walking through, that God will walk us through, or that God won't abandon us because we have made some choices that are not life-giving. Um, there are times where it feels as if, um, I, I'm, I'm aware of like Mary in the garden, she cling, she goes to cling and Jesus says, don't cling to me. Like what are those, those, those times where we're just clinging, right? clinging because we're afraid if we let go, somehow we'll fall, right? And today's passage reminds us that as we cling, that we are already being held on to. Every time I hear that song, I weep because it is this, this thing that clicks in my mind that says, Cindy, God's got you. Just as much as you keep clinging, God is already holding on to you. No matter what you walk through today, no matter what situation you walk into, God will not let go of you. And it doesn't matter how many times I hear that. Each time I hear that, it is this beautiful revelation it brings tears to my eyes over and over. Even when I talk to you, I'm like, they're welling up. God will not let go of you, friends. God will not let go of you. No matter what you're walking through, you are not alone. Even if it feels as if you are lonely, you are not alone. God has got you in whatever you're walking through today. God has got you. God will not let go. And friends, that is good news. And we've been talking about good news in, in worship, but that is good news. It is not only good news for you and I, but it is good news for all of God's children. It is good news that the world needs to hear today because too often we hear a message that people, that you are not enough. You will not amount up. You have made too many bad choices. Da, 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 da. That is the mantra of the world. That is not what God is saying. In today's passage, be strong and courageous. Be not afraid, neither be dismayed, for the Lord God is with you wherever 
you go. That is good news. As we come into prayer today, my friends, um, I invite you to lift up to God um, all the things that, that are keeping you from this promise, all the things that are in the way of, of knowing more fully that God will be there or lift up, lift up every situation that you need. You need to feel God's presence as you walk into today. God will be with you. As we come into this time of prayer, I invite you to lift it up to God. Let's pray. God, your word calls us to be strong and courageous and to know that every situation we will encounter this day, you are already there. No matter how many times we feel as if we are not enough, as if we are not worthy of your love, as if perhaps you have abandoned us, we are then reminded that you won't let go. You will be with us wherever we go. You call us to be strong and courageous. But we know, Lord, that our strength does not come from within, but comes from you. Our courage, our heart, courage, it comes from you. And so fill us this day. Lord, I lift up each person on the call right now, each person that will listen later. Lord, I pray that you will fill them with a deep knowledge of your love, with the knowledge of your abiding presence. Fill them with strength and heart so that they might have the courage to know that what Ever place they walk into, you will give them what they need, that you are already in that place. We thank you, Lord, that you love us this much, that you abide with us in all situations, and that you call us to offer this hope, this promise, this good news to others in our world who, who feel as if they are alone, who feel as if no one will understand, who feel as if um, there is no hope. Lord, lead us to those places today so that we might be a living hope for them. We ask all of this in your abiding presence, in your abiding name, Lord Jesus. As together we pray the prayer that you taught your disciples. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. So may you be reminded today that you are not alone. You are not alone. God will not let go. God's got you. God loves you, my friends, and so do I. Have a very blessed day, and I will see you back here tomorrow. Bye, friends.